Hello Divas and welcome back to another episode of Dialogues with Grace. Today we're going to be looking at 10 signs that indicate that the man you're with is a lazy bum and lack of ambition. Therefore, run for the hills. When you see these signs, Divas, run for the hills. He is not the man for you. All right, honeys? So without further ado, let's get into it, okay? So the first thing on my list, Divas, is lack of goal setting and direction for one's life. Now, if you have a man who you notice has no vision, no goals, no ambition for his life, then, sweetheart, he is not the man for you. If you notice that this man has big dreams, but is not taking any steps towards achieving those dreams, he talks a good talk, but action, they say, speaks louder than words, then, sweetheart, run for the hills. Such a man is nothing but a leech, he will leech off of you and in, at the end of the day, he will still leave you because those kind of people cannot make a commitment. Without goals in life, you are not motivated. There's no motivation to strive for success in life. So if you're with someone like that and you notice that this person has no ambition, no plans, no direction, you ask them, what are your future goals and ambition? Oh yeah, um, I plan to be rich, I plan to be rich. But yet you see no, you know, no plans. You see no active uh, actions being taken in order to achieve and acquire all these wealth and riches. Or he's constantly daydreaming of being a superstar one day. You know, he's going to be the next Burner Boy, he's going to be the next Kanye. But you've never seen him in a studio. Brother can't sing, got nothing going for him. All he has is he can talk a good talk, but no action to back it up. Then, sweetheart, that is not, not the man. That is not the man for you. Run for the hills. Did you hear me? Run for the hills. Don't say a sister didn't warn you. On to the next. The next thing on my list, Divas, is procrastination. So you're with a brother who constantly puts things off until the last minute. He has no drive, no ambition to achieve things. He doesn't try to make an effort. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it the next time. Brother, when are you going to apply for that job? Oh, yeah, 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 I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Or he has a list of things to do, but he's not doing it until the very last minute because he just can't be asked then that is a red sign for you right there. This simply shows that he has no drive and he lacks the ambition or drive to get things done. So this kind of brother is definitely not for you. Again, this is the kind of person that will become a leech because he's got no plans. He's got no motivation to achieve anything in his life. Hence him constantly putting things off. Hence him constantly, you know, procrastinating and putting things off to the next day and the next day and the next day. And even when he does get it done, he does it last minute in a wishy-washy kind of way because he's left it to the very last minute. That is not a good sign either. So if you're with somebody like that, you need to run for the heels. All right, my lovelies, on to the next. The third thing on my list, Divas, is excuses for inaction. So you're dating a brother and he's constantly, he constantly puts things off. He's always making excuses as to why he hasn't taken action on a project or, you know, something that he has planned to do. He has, you know, talked a good talk. But in, instead of him to then take action, you notice that he's not taking any action. He's just there talking and, you know, finessing the plan over and over. But to take that next step and actually put this plan into action so that it can he can see it can be uh, f uh, fruitful he can see the reward of his actions rather he constantly puts things off that is an indication right there that he's got he's he has no plans to do anything he's just there being a bum as always putting things off and in the meantime leeching off of you eating your food asking you for money and of course being the sweet darling that you are, because you're so in love, <laughs> you know, you keep enabling this guy, giving him your money that you work hard for. Sweetheart, again, this is a sign that you are with a lazy bum. You need to kick him to the curb and keep it moving. You're not married to him. And I would think that you wouldn't end up with somebody like that because you will see these signs early on. 
all right darling so if you see somebody you're dating this guy and he's always putting things off he's not he never takes action you always see him planning ah when i become rich i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that oh i'm gonna set up this company yeah it's gonna do this that and the other ah oh, people are gonna see me they're gonna re re you know they're gonna respect me when i do this that and the other but it takes no action the talk's a good talk but it's all mm -mm. <laughs> i won't say the word then you need to run for the hills divas he is not the man for you he's a lazy bum he lacks ambition he's a leech looking for somebody to leech off of all right divas on to the next the next thing on my list divas is dependency if you have a brother that is constantly depending on others be it emotionally financially in any way shape or form he's constantly relying on you depending on you without him actually trying to contribute in any way shape or form you know he always expects you to be there for him emotionally he always expects you to be there for him financially but he doesn't do the same for you the expectations are high from his side from his point of view oh but you don't love me you don't love me if you love me you'll be there for me you'll be there for me in my time of need but he's not doing the same for you he's totally and utterly dependent on you to be there for him providing him emotional support providing him financial support as if you're his mother and you're there carrying him along why come on divas you should know better and you should do better such a man is not the man for you he's a lazy mom with no direction or goal in life and he's gonna leech off you for as long as he can and then he's going to move on to the next person and i know that my divas are too smart to end up with a loser like that so if you notice that this man is constantly dependent on others especially you as though you were the one that gave birth to him then you need to run for the hills yes we're not here to baby grown men we're here to support okay be a help meet so if this man is not in that position of a leader he's just completely depending on you for everything then sweetheart he's not the man for you you need to keep it moving until you find that man that is going to do all the things that this one has failed to do all right my darlings we're not going to talk too much today on to the next the fifth thing on my list is resistance to learning so you're dating somebody and he has no again lack of ambition he doesn't want to improve himself in any way shape or form he doesn't want to learn you know he doesn't want to for example acquire another i don't know qualification that might enable him get that dream job or that might enable him you know get his foot in the door um, get a job at least you know he's just there he can't be asked oh but i've already done this and that you know that's beneath me why would i go back to school now when 70 year olds are in school i remember when i was doing my a levels i had a 70 year old man who graduated with us so you know there's no excuse age is no barrier age is no barrier at all so if you have a man who is just completely and utterly resistant to learning and developing himself then there's a problem there it means he's set in his ways it means he's inflexible he's he won't adapt to change he is against acquiring new skills he's against learning and improving you know to enable him get that better job to enable him be a, a better person in life because if you've studied one thing he says oh but i'm a degree holder why should i why should i go and learn well your degree is in music you can't sing so why don't you find something that is more useful to society better yourself it doesn't have to be another degree you can go and do a course something that would improve you and help you become a better person help you provide for yourself and your future family but instead you're there saying but i already have a degree it's beneath me to go back and start learning I mean that i should be teaching them okay continue my sisters if you're with somebody like that you need to run for the hills that man is not the man for you anyone who's resistant to change will drag you down because as you know the saying goes change is the one constant thing in life 
So if this person does not want to change, he's so set in his ways, he doesn't want to learn new things, new skills, new he can't set new goals for himself, then my sweetheart, keep it moving. Don't waste your time with this one. Okay, darlings, we don't need to speak too much on this. On to the next. Number six on my list is lack of follow through, i.e. lack of commitment. A person that cannot commit to anything, they start this project, they abandon it. They start that project, they abandon it halfway. And there's always an excuse as to why. That means that this person cannot complete things. You know, it's not about the starting, it's how you finish and finish well. You keep starting projects and you keep, you know, putting them to the side and dumping them, you know, then it, it shows that you, you, can't, you, you, you struggle, you have a problem committing to things so how can you com then commit to a job how can you commit to a relationship it says a lot about you as an individual they lack commitment and they lack perseverance they cannot do what it takes to achieve so that person is not going to hold up your home he is not going to be your backbone he can't even if he wants to so in order not to waste your time if you discover that you're with somebody like that sweetheart it's time for a switch. Yes, look for somebody better that would appreciate you and contribute positively to your life. Not somebody that becomes a burden and keeps you down. Okay, divas? On to the next. Number seven on my list, divas, is negative attitude. Have you met those people? There's nothing that you can say to them that they can be positive about everything you bring up every topic you bring up they will find the negative aspect of it they see nothing positive about themselves either so why would they say something positive about you or any topic of discussion they are negative about their future prospects they are negative about the world in general they're negative about everything that you suggest or whatever you're doing say you want to go and uh, improve yourself because you know you're a boss chick you know you're always focused on improving yourself developing yourself and this guy is there discouraging you just because he has no future goals or ambitions for himself so he wants to discourage you so that you can be in the same lane if you're with such a guy then my darling he is not the one for you he needs to go and work on himself and you don't have time to hang around for him to do that if he's a grown-ass man those are some of the skills that he should have acquired whilst growing up so if by now in his late 20s early 30s he still doesn't you know he, he's, he's still dealing with those issues he lacks you know positivity he sees only negative in everything that you do or say or you know the world in general you talk about this oh that person is rubbish what does he know no, no, no. they don't know anything those people they're just thieves they don't know anything bros maybe you should check yourself maybe you're the one with the problem so divas if you're stuck with somebody like this you need to exit do not waste your time find somebody who will lift you up somebody who is positive who would always be your you know your number one cheerleader in whatever you do not somebody who const constantly discourages you and puts you down in whatever plans you have for your life all right my darlings on to the next lack of decision making if you're with somebody who cannot even make decisions for themselves, let alone you, how are they going to make decisions in your home, your future home, your future children? This is not the person for you. Every time you ask them, they just can't make up their mind. They're always shifting, shifting, shifting. You know, that is not the kind of person you want to be with. You want to be with somebody who's the, you know, the decision maker. If he's going to be the head of your home, he needs to be able to make decisions, you know. But if he's always there waiting for you to make the decisions, then clearly there's a problem. He can't stand on his own two feet. And I will take it further and say he's not ready for a relationship. Absolutely not. And, you know, your woman, your biological clock is ticking. I mean, how long do you have to waste with this kind of man? So if you find yourself with such a man, he can't make any decisions for his life. How is he going to help make a decision for your home, your future home? Think about it. This is not the man for you, darling. Look for somebody who's going to appreciate and love you for who you are and who's going to encourage you. But most importantly, somebody who is strong and firm, somebody who can be that role model, that, that can be that head of your home. 
all right divas on to the next number nine on my list is lack of organization and i mean an organized life and how do you know this there are the telltale signs everywhere you see them so if you're for example you see these people in the office and their, their, their workstation is always upside down i'm not saying that every single person who has a disorganized workstation is organized in their lifestyle or in their life in general but it's, an, it's a very good indication that they are if this is the if this is constantly how they live their life there are always the telltale signs there this person is so disorganized they, they just can't be asked they don't pay attention to detail they just throw things around and they lack organization in their own life so people who lack organization in their life they cannot plan for their future they cannot plan for their home they cannot plan they have no plan they don't know how to do it they lack organization they lack ambition most those, those kind of people they tend to lack ambition as well they don't know where to begin why would you want to spend forever with such a person that person will frustrate you, especially if you end up being the opposite and you're very organized, you know, you've got your plan, you know, you've got your life plan uh, set out, you know, what you, your, your goals and plans for the future. You know where you want to be in the next five years. You know where you want to be in the next 10 years, what you want to be doing, what you want to have achieved. But this person doesn't have a clue. They have no goals. They just, it's easy, easy, or so whatever will be, will be no goals no ambitions you know they take life as it comes ah you take every day as it comes yeah to an extent but you also need to plan you need to plan for your future you can't just live your life as you know as if things will always be the same in future what if you lose your job what are your plans say you're going to be between jobs or something happens and you lose your job for i don't know three months what plans have you put in place to ensure that you'll be good what plans have you put in place to ensure your family would be good all these things are very obvious from the start but we as women we i wouldn't say we miss those signs we don't miss them we see them but you see this thing called love eh? oh my gosh it makes you blind it will blind your sight to these things but do you know what is an eye opener marriage marriage is an eye opener so if you don't see these things now or you see it and you choose not to i promise you you will see them when you get married all right darlings on to the next the number 10 thing on my list which is the last but not the least is lack of ambition <laughs> Imagine being stuck with a man that lacks ambition. Ah, yeah, 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 you're in trouble. And God help you if you're the over ambitious one and you're stuck with somebody who lack, lacks ambition. Clearly, you can see that that is not going to work. It is not going to work because as you're going, taking 10, 10 steps forward, he's pulling you 20 steps backwards. He has no drive, no ambition, no plan for his life. He's just living his best life as if it was golden, you know? And he expects you to tag along and be there. But you love me, why won't you stay with me? Everybody's different now. I can't, we can't all, we all be the same. We can't all be the same. That's you. That's not me, you know? But you are that go-getter. You are that one who has good plans for your life. Who is the one that sets goals? You, Like I said earlier, you have your uh five year goal ten year goal and you're working towards achieving those goals actively pursuing those goals and you have this man who is just there easy razi whatever will be will be just chilling you know no ambition no drive to improve their circumstances they're just comfortable where they are you know and they want you to stay they want to date you why because they can see that you have prospects and already in their mind they're thinking she's a good catch because they know she's a good catch she's going to be successful because come on we, we can tell these things from the beginning and they don't want to let go 
but they don't want to do the same. They want you to be their meal tickets. They lack ambition. They lack drive. They can't put in the effort that it takes to succeed in life. But yet, they want you to stay with them. They want you to tag along in their journey of life, but not willing to make sacrifices, not willing to change for you to meet you halfway. Lack of ambition. It's a huge, huge red flag. I know we're not talking about red flags, but these things are more or less red flags. For you to run a mile when you meet such people. Don't let anyone pull you back. If you're a young woman, you're ambitious, you know, and you have great plans for your life, don't go and settle for a man. Don't say, because I'm 35, I'm you know, knocking on 40's door. Uh, let me just manage this one. Ah, oh, my sister, you suffer. You'll be so frustrated. So please, let's not do that. Once we notice these signs, my sisters, let us just leave it. You're not married to the man, you're just dating. Why must you die there? There are other great men out there. Yes, there may be more men than women, but that does not mean you should settle for less. All right, divas, I'm not going to dwell on this because I promised myself I'm not going to make this video too long this week. All right, divas? So yeah, we're going to wrap it up there. Those are the 10 signs watch back because i'm sure that you will know if your man is already exhibiting such traits so it's still it's it's not too little you know if you know that he's exhibiting all these traits or at least some of them but say out of these 10 he's exhibiting five <laughs> there's a problem especially if there's a lack of willingness to change then you know what to do sis you know what to do all right divas all right a quick thing I just remembered so two weeks ago I did say I set us a challenge about um, you know encouraging another sister I said we were to go out and encourage five sisters I, I was meant to comment on this in my last video but it escaped my mind um, so I am going I am bringing it up now if you have done that if you did you know speak to five women please 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 put it in the comment box let us know how you encourage a sister or two and if you haven't done it well this is your opportunity let each one of us lift one up let us lift each other up let's encourage each other all right divas so if you haven't already done it go out this is a challenge and encourage five women just encourage them tell them something nice about them um, that you notice about them they look good you love their smile you love the way they dress you know oh i love your shoes where did you get that oh i love your hair oh i love your makeup oh i love your outfit oh my god you're so intelligent you're so articulate you know just say something nice to five women this week and if you want to take it further and say to 10 20 why not let us encourage ourselves all right my darlings and if you have put it in the comment box tell us who did you encourage okay divas what did you say to them all right my darlings thank you so much for joining me on this episode of dialogues with grace i always always enjoy you you know you guys joining me and tuning in thank you for your comments thank you for the likes we're still trying to you know get that exposure get more people to know that grace is back um but yeah thank you so much um divas your comments they're really encouraging um and I, you know yeah i do i really do appreciate you i don't take it for granted the fact that you sit down and watch my very long videos though i'm working on that so that we're gonna try and keep them nice and short um but without missing the points that we're trying to put across i say a big thank you thank you my darlings thank you so much until next time Stay absolutely fabulous, stay absolutely gorgeous, know who you are and whose you are, that you are the daughter of the Most High. Carry yourself as such with your head up high, confident in who you are. All right, my lovelies, until next time, remember Jesus loves you and I, your girl, your sister, your auntie, your friend, your paddy, I love you too. Stay wonderful and see you next week. God bless you. Bye-bye.